temperature changes. So if you heat something, it's going to change its temperature, right? All substances change temperature when they're heated. The amount of change varies. So you may have observed this um, if you have a plate of hot food, like they might give you at a, at a restaurant, maybe a steakhouse, and it comes out and everything's hot. I don't know about at your house, that never happens at my house, right? You can't get everything hot at the same time, but at restaurants, they know what they're doing. So it comes out and there's this steak and there's a big old baked potato and there's a piece of French toast, not French toast, uh, Texas toast, big fat piece of toast and like some vegetables or something. Which one of those items of food stays hot the longest? The potato. Potatoes stay hot forever. They take forever to cool down. That toast is going to be cold in no time, right? Why does that happen? Because different, different substances change temperature a different amount when exposed to heat or to cold. And that has to do with something called the heat capacity of the substance, and it's different from one substance to another. What the potato has is a lot of water in it. Water has a very high heat capacity. The toast has very little water in it, and so the bread part has a low heat capacity, and so it will cool off quickly while the potato will stay hot for a long time. So what we call heat capacity is the quantity of heat, and that's usually measured in joules, that's needed to change the temperature of a particular amount of substance by one degree Celsius. We usually use the specific heat capacity. Uh, sometimes we just call it specific heat. Um, and that's the amount of heat needed to change the temperature of a specific quantity, one gram of the substance by one degree Celsius. So how much heat does it take to change the temperature of one gram of this by one degree Celsius. That's the specific heat capacity. And that's going to end up with units of joules per gram degree Celsius, which, you know, those look pretty messy, don't they? Joules over grams times degree Celsius. That's what that is. It's because it's the amount of heat to change one joule. I'm sorry, it's the amount of heat to change one gram one degree. Water has a very high specific heat capacity. So if we look at this table, which you may need to refer to when doing homework problems, we see that water has a specific heat capacity of 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. Most of these other are metals, and they have very low heat capacity. Um, copper, 0.385 joules per gram degree Celsius. It takes much less heat to heat up a gram of copper than it does to heat up a gram of water. If you need specific heat capacities for an exam problem, I'll give them to you. You don't need to memorize these guys, okay? So summer in San Francisco versus summer in Fresno. <laughs> Where would you rather be during the summer? San Francisco. My son has been living in San Francisco all summer doing an internship, and I went to visit him, and you know, we had to wear the long pants and take a sweater, and we were still cold. Because the average temperature, this is the average high temperature in August. I actually looked this up on the internet. In San Francisco, the average high temperature is 66 degrees Celsius in August. In Fresno, the average high is 96 degrees. That's a 30 degree difference. And we know that oftentimes it's well above 96, right? It's more like 106. Why? We're about the same latitude, right? Water. So San Francisco is almost an island. It's a peninsula. It's surrounded by water. Water has a very high heat capacity. The sun comes down and it warms the earth, right? Well, when the sun hits the water, shines on it all day long, the water temperature only goes up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But around Fresno, what do we have? We have dust, especially this year. Just 
dust, very little water. The ground heats up much faster because it has a low heat capacity. So all the ground is heating up, the air is going to heat up too. And that's why San Francisco is like always the same. They joke that it's, it's warmer there in the winter than it is in the summer. And it really almost is.